Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. I have a Revolve set on, my normal H&M coat, Uggs. I'm wearing Uggs for my dry wear appointment, Margo. How do you feel about that? I'm not fine about that. I think I'll do the same thing. Okay, good. It's Monday morning. I'm about to go to Dry Bar. I'm going to get Starbucks first and then off to the studio. Tonight is Luke Combs concert. I'm going to see Lauren this afternoon. It's going to be a really great time. So, we're off. Thank you. I'm good without a straw. Thank Back for my blood, it's 9 something, 919. I'm currently taking an at-home COVID test. This coffee, it's my favorite order from Starbucks. So now it's a cream cold barrel with no vanilla and peppermint only. And it's the worst coffee I've ever had. Oh, but I did remember that blue bottle is here. Duh. So I'm gonna go to the blue bottle by the studio. I'll leave in like an hour. I am so tired. Like I just have been not sleeping. There's nothing like getting a blowout, like really nothing. Okay, so I got my hair done. I'm back from dry bar, my Starbucks was tragic, and I just need caffeine. I don't know why I didn't even think about the fact that I can get blue bottle, like that's normally the first thing I do here, but since I'm just like visiting Margo this trip, I mean I'm still working, but it's not like I'm like in New York for myself. Um, I just keep forgetting that I'm actually like here and that there's blue bottle, you know? Anyways, it is 9.25 a.m. I need to get ready. I'm going to go to blue bottle, I have a recording, from 11 to 2 p.m. I'm recording a swap and then I'm recording with Kim Johnson from Geneva She used to be head of community at Glossier, which is like really cool because I feel like in my opinion That's kind of how the brand was built. My skin is so dry because it's been so cold and Lauren actually is here She booked her flight like three days ago. I think like it was very last minute We're going to Luke Combs tonight, but after I finish recording I'm gonna go back here, change, and then go to Lauren's Hotel, and then we're gonna hang out, and then go to the concert together, so. And I'm recording for Mood. I'm not gonna like redo my makeup for tonight, so I have to like really, really, really try today. guys i'm ready i've had this like suit set for probably a year and i've just never worn it together it's from princess polly saw it on instagram immediately purchased um the pants are like really really flattering they're also pretty comfortable i will say they fit like my legs well but they don't fit my waist well like they're not the perfect fit but they're good this top is skims it's just a short sleeve that I'm wearing underneath. I'm wearing, again, my Jeffrey Campbell boots. I actually ordered these last night in black because they're the best things. I've literally shown them in every single vlog, but they're the best shoes ever. They're really comfortable. I literally walked around and shopped in New York. My feet hurt after, but not as much as they should have. So that's good. But let me show you with better lighting. Here's the look. I just grabbed my bag, my purse, and then I'm off for going to Blue Bottle. I'm honestly really craving like a green juice. Like, said no one ever, right? But I don't know. I just really feel like a green juice. Code test is done. Negative. Um, oh, I actually need to pack. I'm bringing Lauren a COVID test. She took a red eye last night, so she's sleeping until I get there this afternoon. So I went and got her one. But here we are. I think we can throw this stuff away. <laughs> We're back at my favorite place. My favorite blue bottle. Thank you. Bryant Park at Christmas is just like a perfect, a winter wonderland. All right guys, I feel so professional. Off to work. Um, we're going to the studio. This is the one that I always go to in New York. I have my New Orleans with Oakland, my favorite coffee in the entire world. Here's my outfit. I need like a juice. I don't even know. I might stop at like a little market or something on the way. I feel like I live in this neighborhood. Like I actually know where everything is. I just, I don't know. I feel very at home here. And from my perspective and my opinion, yeah. community is what made Glossier. I think that 
community was always at the core of the company. Right? That was so amazing because it was like at that moment that it was so clear how connect, how many connection points there were between the people who were here. Like really we can be the place for a lot of those people to start building. Um, but yeah, I think we're, you know, we're at the kind of like precipice of a really interesting moment. Interview tips. You know, I think interview tips are just my biggest thing when I'm hiring people. I, you know, I don't care if you're just fresh out of college or you're like 10 years into your career. I love people with vision. Like th those are the kind of people that I want on my team. I was like, April's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Everything's tomorrow. If I could just beg one thing of every human being listening to this podcast, it's like, can we be more thoughtful about how and where we place our energy of losing what we have? And again, it's this very familiar, well-worn snow groove that we can get, you know, like just some mental chatter around and then we don't have to maybe level up. We don't, you know, if you're like, have you read The Big Leap? Mm -mm. Oh God! Can you I just? Need to. I'm a huge reader, so I need I, to. Yeah, I would put that on your book list. Okay, it's the most simplistic, perfect, clear book about sabotaging ourselves. Okay, and it talks so much. We have these moments of internal wisdom of our. Uh, at least for me, it's it's becomes a scream at some point and I say to it like, Nah, it's okay. Come on, we can push through. It's like, and what you're saying is so relevant. Like I would. I would stand in front of a bus before I'd let my best friend do that. I would say, what are you doing? You know, and somehow it becomes acceptable for me. I think, you know, I've been a therapist a really long time and I'm a behaviorist by trade and I'm a behaviorist by trade, which there's plenty of analysis and all of that, but action is just the quickest way to get well. All right, guys, I'm back from the studio. I never really vlog there because it's just so much going on. I recorded with Molly Carmel and Kim Johnson of Geneva. So Molly's recording, we did a swap so freaking good. Oh my God. Kim's was incredible. Like you guys are gonna love both the episodes. Kim um, is head of the community at Geneva. I think that's actually your top job title. Geneva is the app that we use um, with you guys. So like any group chat, we talk about everything. There's like book recs, there's like Dallas groups, there's New York groups, like wherever you live. Um, it's just really fun. Like I literally meet you guys out and about and you guys met on the app, so. Anyways, I just ordered Thai food. I haven't even eaten because I was just in the studio from like 11 to 2. So I really need lunch. I'm waiting for my food to get here. I'm going to change. I unfortunately have to wear my concert outfit to Lauren's because I'm not going to be home in between. So I'm going to go head over. Lauren is calling me actually, I think, or texting me. Um, and I need to head over and meet her. And then we're going to record for mood. So I need to like not talk to anyone for a bit. I'll be back. It's 3. I just ordered Thai food. I am actually ready for, well, you know what? I should retouch my makeup really quick, but I'm ready for the concert. Going to Lauren's Hotel. We're recording, hanging out until we go. This dress is from, where's it from? Bershka or Zara. This is Bershka. These boots are nasty gal. Really cute, easy, fun outfit. All right, here is a better shot with lighting. Brown dress, black blazer, black boots. This outfit was styled by Styled by Brittany on Instagram. Oh, my makeup, I just added more bronzer and that, honestly, that's it for the day. If I need something, I'll just take something from Lauren. But I'm gonna call my Uber, we're off. <laughs> Guys, look who I'm with. Ah! We've just been laying here for hours. Um, I don't know if we're gonna have time to get a drink. I think that we well, have to. <laughs> Yeah, we have to go. No, like we need like we need we can like eat and drink really really quick and then run. Yeah, and if Claudia kills us, that's on you. I like She I already texted us I, if I anyone is late. Even, I can't even think about her energy right now. <laughs> like it's just like she needs to like calm down. She's just like, so excited. I know. I'm mean, I'm excited too, but like I'm just like in another world. Took a red eye here for yeah. the girly girls. For the girly girls. And I've been in this bed all fucking day. Excuse me. Yeah. And we're just gonna do it. I up. came here. I stripped and I put a robe on. I said I'm not wearing yeah. it. Sorry. And she just we just both have had robes on. Now we're both wearing brown. Yeah, we're matching now. So so cute. Anyways, we're gonna go get a snack and then um, pray for us that Claudia doesn't kill us. But honestly, chances are. Very very high. <laughs> Sorry.
So I thought Kenzie was being dramatic when she was like, Claudia is gonna kill us. She actually did send a text saying she was gonna murder us. So that was fun. Yeah, no, I was not being dramatic. I knew that that would happen. Roberto. However, it was great. Oh, Roberto. I'm sorry, Roberto. Roberto. We have to go. We'll talk to you guys later. It was great. Though. It was the best night of my life. Yeah. Happy Tuesday, guys. It is my last day in New York. Last night was Luke Combs. It was so much fun. I didn't vlog like a ton. I just hung out with Lauren after I recorded. I had some of the best episodes yesterday. But I'm back in the studio today. Before I get to the studio, I'm actually gonna go meet Katie, Bro not Brooke, Katie, Danielle, and Margo. And then tonight I'm gonna get dinner with Brooke. My outfit today, I'm wearing this bodysuit. I have no idea where it's from, honestly. I think it's actually White Fox. Yeah, it's White Fox. This scarf is Urban, $35. I'll have it linked below. This coat, by the way, which is the coat that I would just wear all the time, is H&M. I know I say that all the time, but it's literally $80, and it's my best purchase I've ever made. I get the most compliments on it. Um, these jeans are Princess Polly. I'm wearing Air Forces. I wish I had other sneakers right now, but I didn't bring any, so. Anyways, we are heading off. I'm gonna go take an Uber, get there. I'm gonna get there a little bit early and maybe just like shop around for like 20 minutes or something. Um, but we are off. All right, so I made it, my hair. Like, I don't know, the blowout looks fine, but there's something about the roots that I'm just not into. Here's my outfit. I have to carry around my bag. By the way, this is from Calpac. It is the best laptop bag. I bring it everywhere. It's my carry-on bag. I bring it to the studio. I bring it when I'm like working. I literally use it every day. But anyways, I'm here like 25 minutes early, so I think I'm gonna like go into like Dior or something and just like move around. Um, it is looking beautiful here. The girls are coming in 25 minutes, so I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping and then meet up with them. Thank you. Look who it is, guys. Guys, it's snowing. <laughs> oh my god. Danielle's face. Oh. Alright guys, Hello. we're walking around. I'm Mar so happy to be with you. I know. Margo just left. We're walking around. We have to leave in like 20 minutes. Guys, it honestly feels really good out. It feels so nice. Love the outfit. So cute. I'm inspired by the trench by you, honestly. I feel like you this always I wear this trench. coat every day. Well, so I like outerwear in general, but it's my favorite. All right. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that are listening to this or people, friends of friends, where situations and circumstances are horrific, and I, I get that. But what I also know is in order to change the circumstances to the best of your ability, it requires you to change your choices. Like, you still have some choice in that, that that relationship is not for us, that friendship is not for us, but we don't at attach a strong enough why. We don't say, well, I really want to like value myself and step away from this thing because I know I'm worth more. I teared up and the reason I teared up was because my relationship with my mom like was not good most of my life. It was terrible. Horrible. I mean I was kicked out of her house when I was 16 and I said some stuff when I left that house cuz I just felt abandoned and hurt and wrong and all the all the things that I would never wish anyone to say to to anybody. So we have a celebrity, a big celebrity yeah. in the midst right here. Not a celebrity, just a fan of, but thank you for saying that. That's insane. I don't know about that. You did get spotted today. I did get spotted today for the first time. Um, can we do a PR moves for Dolly Parton? Dolly has um Dollywood theme music yes. park. So I think that she should have a Coachella Lake Festival. That was two point two seconds. Just yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, sorry. It was incredible. All right, guys, I'm back from the studio. I recorded with Doug and Robin from Girl Boss Town. Sorry, there's something on my camera. Um, great recordings, then I came back, edited a vlog, and now I'm about to head off to dinner. I'm going to see Brooke. Margo's going to Luke night two. How excited are you? I'm scared. Yeah, okay. her her body is falling apart. Crumbling, like, and like, I have a big week of not just this, so. No, she's got a big week ahead, okay. and her body is, is it's like in, at half. Capacity. Yeah, so, it'll be interesting. But, I'm going to meet Brooke for dinner, very excited to have some nice little girl catch up time. I just changed into a sweater and I'm wearing the same outfit. 
you tell me. Yeah, yeah, sorry. We have beautiful quesadillas, and look who I am. Wow, our New York queen. <laughs> I try wearing all black. Uh, yeah, really edgy very edgy, very oh, edgy. Cool. <laughs> Remember when you used to say, oh my god, that's so funky. Yeah. <laughs> I like fixate on one word. Like yes. And then it's like my vernacular for like, my Every, Yeah, like for years. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yes. Good morning, guys. It is now Wednesday. I'm heading back to Texas, my favorite place ever. This was honestly like one of my favorite trips to New York. I had the best time obviously got to hang out with Brooke last night it was just so good to see her I like obviously love all my friends here but I just changed I'm wearing sweats obviously the same coat all that so I don't have to put it in my bag um, I downloaded some books I need to get coffee at the airport I ordered some food I have to say bye to Max, which I'm really sad I downloaded podcast books and stuff and I'm up and I'm heading to LaGuardia so we are off. Whenever I explain what I talk about to people, I'm like, it's a very selfish venture because whatever I'm going through yeah. at that moment or month or whatever it is, I will hone down and seek out everyone who I think can help me. 